Hey guys, Chris Rutz here with United Marketing System. Okay, now that we've talked about all the plugins that I use as my core plugins for all my SEO campaigns when I'm going on an SEO market for a search, in, search engine optimization. Now, the videos now are going to go into depth about each of these plugins and show you how to set them up correctly and how to integrate them with our campaign. So, I guess the, the main two ones, Google XML Site and All-in-One SEO Pack. So let's go ahead and get the Google XML Site Map. So basically how you install WordPress um, plugin is very simple. And you can get this list again if you go to my blog here, unitedmarketingsystem.com. And in the training section here, you just go to the core must-have plugins. And right from this page here, you can go ahead and just copy, highlight the plugin, then copy it. And let's go into our blog that we've been creating throughout the training series. So, and then on the right hand side here, once you log into your blog, uh, you're going to go into the, the uh, dashboard here, and then we're going to go down to where it says plugins right here, okay? And then we're going to go to add new. Okay, in this term right here where the search field's at, we're just going to go ahead and paste that plugin where it says Google XML sitemaps, and we're just going to search plugins. And there it is. Okay, so we're going to hit install now. Are you sure you want to install? Yes, we're pretty sure. Now, what's great about this site, this plugin is again, this one is where it gives the search bots um, the map of your site, all the internal structure, the linking, how your ma how your site's created. Okay, and we're going to integrate this with Webmaster. So it's a very powerful plugin to have. So once you got once you went ahead and installed it, we're going to activate the plugin, and you're going to see it pop up right here. XML sitemaps and where you can edit this at now is you go over to settings you're going to see that it has now populated with an option called XML sitemap so we're going to go ahead and click on that and out of the box this is very good um, there's not much to really uh, modify here what I would recommend though if you're just building your site and you're not done with how you want to create and structure I would hold off on this step I'm about to show you but if you've already got a matured site and you don't have this plugin, the first thing you want to do is you want to build a sitemap. Because without building it, you don't have one yet. So we're going to go ahead and click here to build the sitemap for the first time. So now this plugin is going out and it's creating all the links. Okay? And there I went ahead and did it. And then leave all these things here alone. Okay? And come all the way down to the bottom. And we have what's called. So here's the uh, actual sitemap now. Location of your sitemap. So you can click on that. And since this is just a little blog I'm doing for uh, training there's nothing there but you can see all the things we've done there it is on the sitemap so the Google crawlers can go and see that and uh, it also says right here Google MSN search Yahoo all that good stuff okay so back to the plugin options um, we're gonna come down here and where it has the priorities what I like to do is I keep my home page number one because that's where I keep my money page uh, that's where I keep you know my opt-ins like for my main blog here uh, my home page my home domain is basically just an explanation of what I'm doing and you've got the opt-in form from the get into newsletter or whatnot right so I always want that to be the highest priority of my SEO campaign so I put that at one and uh, posts I go to eight I want to put a priority of eight on my post and static pages if you do pages because I do a lot of informative sites too, so I have a lot of pages, I bring that up to 8 as well. And it just gives a priority on, on when they're created, um, how much uh, they're going to try to feed those to the Google bots and search bots and whatnot. So that's pretty much it for that, for setting this up. So we're going to go ahead and update the option. Now where the power in creating an XML site now is now we're going to go tell Google that we've got an XML site out there and we want them to come crawl us so we can get indexed onto the Google search engines because you can never rank for anything unless Google knows you're there and the only way they're going to know you're there is if they indexed you in their database so let's go ahead and you're going to need to have a Gmail account to do this so just go out and create a Gmail account if you don't have one yet and in here we're going to type in Google oh, we're going to go into the search bar Google Webmaster and you're going to see the Webmaster tools here so I'm just going to go and sign into the Webmaster Tools. It's going to take me to the page here. And so all we're going to do is we're going to add a site. We're going to add the site we just created. So if I go back over here, this is the site I want to add. UnitedMarketingSystem.com forward slash blog. So I'm going to copy that. 
I'm going to paste it in right here. So hit continue. And what it's going to do now is Google is going to ask you to verify ownership of your website to make sure that really is your, your website. Now this is very simple to do, so don't get don't don't freak out here if you don't understand code. Um, if you do, awesome, you know what I'm talking about. But it's gonna make this very simple. So what I like to do is I go to alternate methods. This is the easiest way that I think there is. And we're gonna add a meta tag to our site's home page. And all you're gonna do is copy this meta tag out. Okay. Go back to your blog your dashboard here and we're going to come down to here where it says appearance and we're going to come down to here to go to editor okay most all themes have so this is basically the code behind your blog but we're not going to touch nothing here we're just going to go over here every every blog has a header.php okay so you want to click on the template where it says header and simply wage structure you can look for a tag called head okay right there and then that's where the meta tags generally start is right after the head it doesn't matter where you put this just make sure you find this tag and after that tag go ahead and paste that Google verification code in there that's all you gotta do okay we're gonna come down here and we're gonna hit update file now that we did that we're gonna go back to the webmaster and we're gonna say I wanna verify because now it has that code and if it can recognize the code and it verifies correctly, you should go to the dashboard of your Google Webmaster Tools. And so what we're going to do here is we're just going to go over here to Sitemaps, and we're going to submit the sitemap. So click on that, and it's going to ask you, well, we need to add a sitemap. Submit a site guide title. So what we're going to do is submit a sitemap. So click on that. It knows that it's www.com for slash blog. And our sitemap, if you come back over here, to the XML sitemap plugin options under settings, it will tell you right down here what your sitemap uh, path is. So it's unitedmarketingsystemcom forward slash blog forward slash sitemap.xml. So that's pretty typical, that's pretty default. So you can just go ahead and copy that out, come back to your sitemaps, hit submit again, and paste that in there. Okay. And then submit. It's going to take a couple days for it to. Maybe not maybe not a couple days, but it's gonna take some time before it crawls your site. So give it about a day or two before you come back here again. And when it crawls, you'll start seeing some data here, and it's pretty cool. And then you can get a lot of information uh, about your website. When you can, it'll tell you about the keywords people are researching. It'll tell you if there's any crawling errors when it goes through your blog. It's got a lot of information. You'll see it when it starts to build up over time what information it does give to you. So that is how you set up the XML sitemap. Very powerful plugin to get Google to recognize you fast and to be indexed. And uh, without further ado, the next next um, plugin we're going to talk about, another very, very powerful plugin, is going to be the all-in-one SEO pack. And uh, that's right here. And that's going to take care of a lot of our on-page SEO optimization that we talked about before in our previous trainings. So we'll see you guys there.